Another day, another dollar. Thank the Lord for another 24. God, I knew that was you, man. I'm just getting back to the crib, man. Uh, heavy back day, poor day, man. We got some heavy deadlifts in. You know, back workout went good. You know, I'm just getting back to the crib, like I said. Getting right into the video, though. Uh, I've been doing some reflecting. You know, I've been thinking, you know, over the years in my life. You know, I'm 34 years old, you know. These are some of the things, you know, looking back on how life played out, you know, the people that came in and came out of my life, different situations all throughout my life, you know, these are some things, if I could go back in time, you know, and talk to my younger self, the person that I am today, and go back and talk to myself when I was in my 20s, you know, 20, 21, 22, you know, these are some of the things I would say, you know, and some of these things, they may be able to help you out. You know, if you're younger, you know, you in your 20s right now, you're going through stuff, you're going through trials and tribulations in your life, you know. The first thing I would do, man, I would, say, I would tell myself it's going to be okay, you know. No matter what you're going through in life, as long as God wake you up, you know, you got to fight and change. That's always been my mentality in life, you know. I've always been optimistic, upbeat. I always stay positive. No matter what, long as God woke me up, you know, no matter what I'm going through, no matter what life been throwing at me lately, man, if I've been going through it, you know, situations happen, you know, no matter how bad it get, man, if, if I wake up, man, my feet hit the ground, I got a fighting chance. It's another day, another opportunity to figure it out, you know, so I just keep marching. I keep going. I don't stop, you know. I get, I don't get depressed often, nothing like that, man. I just keep, I try to stay optimistic. I'm always thinking about the good in life. I'm always being optimistic and I'm thinking about the positive side. I try to see the good in everything, you know, no matter how, how fucked up the situation may be, how, how negative something may be, man, that's in my life right now, man. I try to see the good in everything and I just try to keep marching and try to be the best version of me as I can every day, you know. Something else I would tell myself is that people change. People move on. You know, when you in high school, you know, college, you know, eight, you 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, 20, 21. You know, I used to think this too. I used to think that the people that was like my best friends, you know, in high school, you know, people I used to love in college, man, my friends, man, my, my, my right hand man. People like that, I used to always think we was going to be tight like this. We was going to always hang out, you know, and always keep in touch. And the thing I learned is that, like like I said, people move on. People have their own lives, you know. The people, man, that I was like my best friends in high school, man, I haven't seen them people probably. I graduated high school in 2008. It's 2024. I haven't, some of them people, man, I haven't seen and got down since then, since we graduated high school, you know. I haven't seen them, no contact. I haven't, you know, talked to them. You know, I might, some of them I keep in touch, you know, via uh, social media. You know, I might see them pop up on my Facebook. But outside of that, you know, I really don't, I don't see people like that. You know, um, I graduated, like, I went to school. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. So I graduated high school. As soon as I graduated, I had a football scholarship. I went to college in West Virginia. You know, I lived out there. You know, I started my career out there working in the prison system. Then I transferred down here to North Carolina. I've been in North Carolina ever since 2015. So even the people I went to college with, you know, I don't see them like that. You know, it just is what it is, man. You got to accept that people have their own lives. People move on. You know, it. it's nothing wrong with it, man. It's a part of life, man. You're going to some people are in your uh your life for a season. Some people are in your life, you know, for a lifetime. It just is what it is. You know, if it's meant to be, man, the right people, they're going to always be there through thick and thin, you know, no matter what, man. You know, so them people you just do right by and you y'all stick tight, y'all stay tight. You know, all, me, no matter who comes into my life, you know, even if it's for a season or for a lifetime, I always try to do right by people. I, I, I don't never try to fuck nobody over, you know, don't never try to, uh, like I said, do something wrong to somebody, man, you know, try to get over on somebody. No, I always try to do good by everybody, you know, and keep the lines of communication open, you know, because you never know who you may need. You never know what connections you can make, you know, stuff like that, you know. But it is what it is. People move on. I mean, you know, a lot of people, they get their own lives. People move to other states. People move around the world. They got their own stuff going on, you know. 
And if I keep in touch with them through social media, you know, I, I see them pop up. I try to like their posts and whatnot like that, even if that's the only communication we have. You know, I still want them to do good. I still want them to be happy in life. You know, it's just a part of life, man. People are going to move on and they're going to move out of your life. You know, the people that's meant to be, they're going to always be there. You know what I'm saying? I would tell myself this. Uh, less is more. Less is more. Declutter your life. You know, if I could go back in time to my 20s, man, I, I wouldn't have bought as much of the shit that I bought, you know, that I have nothing to show for. It. You know, I, I buy shit over the years, you know, that, 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 that don't mean nothing. You know, shit like clothes. Uh, you know, I'm in my 20s, young. I'm making a little money. I'm in my career making some good money. Rims for my car. You know, uh, taking women out to eat, man, obsessively. Stuff like that, man. Just buying clothes and shoes. You know, I still like that. I like I like to dress nice, but I'm at the point now in my life where I, I don't feel the need to have to impress anybody. I, I rarely buy clothes. Either. I still got a lot of my clothes are still in good condition. You know, I may get a couple pieces, you know, from the Nike store or the polo outlet, you know, maybe once or twice a year. But I don't feel the need to have to go have the latest shoes, stuff like that. For one... You know, I'm in my work, I work in the prison, so I'm in my work uniform majority of the time. You know, I work a lot of hours there. And two, when I'm not at work, most of the time, I'm just in my gym clothes. I'm in my gym gear, you know. You see, I still got my headphones. I just came from the gym. You know, I wear a do-rag when I'm in the gym, you know, to help with the sweat. I got my, I wear, I, most of the time, I'm in my gym clothes or I'm in my work uniform. So I don't feel the need, you know, to have to try to keep up with the Joneses or impress nobody. Me, what impresses me is my finances being good, my bank account being good, having a peace of mind financially, you know, as long as the bills are paid every month, you know, I got emergency savings was in case something happens, you know, I lost my job or something like that, man, I got, you know, eight months worth of savings, I got investments, you know, I done bought a house, paid both my cars off, got retirement accounts, stuff like that, you know, I don't feel the need to have to show that type of stuff or, you know, buy stuff unnecessarily. So if I could go back, I would tell myself, you know, shit, you don't need that shit, man. You know, a lot of that shit I bought, I, I don't even have today, you know. Just looking back on it, I ain't got shit to show for it. I'd rather, if I can get all that money back that I wasted, I would take all that shit and invest it, you know. Fucking buy some stocks or some more crypto, shit like that. That's what I'm big on it. I try to save and invest as much as my money as I can every time I get paid. Stuff like that, you know, that that's the true sign right there of happiness, man. Not feeling the need, you know, to have to be flash stuff like that, man. It don't, I, I walk around, shit, anywhere. Uh, I go out to eat in a damn my gym club. I don't care, man. Sweatsuit, got my Crocs on. I might take my do-rag on, you know, brush my hair and stuff. But I don't feel the need. I, I, that's how I do. I'm just being me. I'm doing me. You know, whoever don't like it, oh, well, tough luck. Tough fucking luck and shit like that. Hey, just here what it is. I'm at peace with my life. You know, I'm happy and shit with my life. You know, going on to my next topic, uh, as far as the money, like I was saying, a lot of that money I would have I would have saved. I've always been good with money. You know, I've always been able to save and invest. I learned about investing in stocks when I was in high school. You know, I was buying stocks in high school and I always kept up with it. I would have built my portfolio up. But like I said, you know, as far as the money, I would have tried to take that shit that I blew on dumb shit, like buying rims, buying clothes unnecessarily, shoes, taking females out to eat, you know, shit like that. And I would take that money, you know, and invest that shit, man. That shit probably be tripled by now, man. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. You live and you learn. You know, that's a part of life. You know, everybody got to go through that phase where they live and they learn. You know, it is what it is. As long as you learn, that's the main thing, you know. And if I could go back to the last thing I would tell myself is your mental health and your happiness, man, is the most important thing. You know, it's all about you. It's all about what you want out of life. You know, don't nobody else come before you. You know, at the end of the day, it's you. You were born by yourself. You're going to die by yourself. You know, so what it is, what is it that you want out of life? You know, what makes you happy? Whatever it is, you got to go after it relentlessly every day. Chase it every day. Don't let nobody discourage you. Don't let nobody hold you back. You know, if they're really your friend or family and they love you, they will want to see you do what makes you happy. 
point blank in the discussion, man. So, like I said, I always been optimistic. You know, I always been in a good space as far as my mental health goes. You know, my happiness going after what I want out of life. You know, so I'll, if I'm going back, you know, my my present self now to my when I was in my 12, I would just remind myself, you know, to keep doing what I'm doing. As long as you happy, you know, and the shit bring you joy, keep doing it. Don't stop for nobody, man. It's all about you and what you want out of life, baby. Y'all like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel at The Ghetto Bodybuilder. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram at The Ghetto Body, but I got merchandise for sale. This one of my shirts right here, man, I saw a lot of gym uh, t-shirts and hoodies, man, fitness related. This one of them, safety first, heavy weight lifting in progress. You know, I got all kind of uh, t-shirts and hoodies on my website, catchy quote, uh, quotes and slogans and whatnot, you know. So hopefully this video can uh, help some of my younger people, you know, that that's in their 20s, teens, you know, some of these things. These are the things that I've just been thinking about lately, you know, just reflecting, you know, if I could go back and tell myself that stuff, man, you know, whatever, like I said, man, whatever you're going through, if you are going through anything, a lot of trials and tribulations, life been giving it to you lately, man, you've been going through hell. The best I could tell you, man, is to keep going, man, it's going to be okay. Like I said, as long as God wake you up, you got a fighting chance, baby. Y'all know how we coming. Let's get motivated.